Hello. <laughs> this is my mom, and she's going to be joining me this month on our new box because it's a country that I'm not too familiar with with spices, and she's loves spices. I love spices. <laughs> so this month is Pakistan. I'm very scared of it. I'm not. <laughs> Mine's more political than foodie, <laughs> so. Food. <laughs> she loves food. All right, so I did have a minute to go over everything to familiar myself with everything that's in the box versus what I did last month. So we're gonna start off with this mix here. Um, it's called a mix ni Nimco. Nimco. Um, the little quick story behind it is a husband and wife moved from India to Pakistan. Husband thought that his wife's cooking was the best cooking in the world and started his own little shop. And apparently it's very well known in Pakistan. So he's a good husband. <laughs> he has to be a good husband. I told mine not to do that because I don't want everyone to eat my food. Yeah, it's too <laughs> so this is a mix of uh, peanuts, chickpea, spices. Um, looks like it has like little rice noodles. Um, it says it has peas in it, which I see. So I'm just gonna grab something here and try it because she went to, for the safe thing. Now she's gonna give me something that's not safe. I'm just gonna give her a handful of just, <laughs> just a mixture of everything. <laughs> we kind of look like little rice noodles. Yeah, and those look like rice noodles. There's some peanuts and chickpeas. Ooh, that is spicy. Ooh, it's very tasty. I've never had it. For a... me, it's not that spicy, but I like spice. Oh, I really don't know what these things are. But they do look like little noodles that have been like fried. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just like tiny little rice noodles. So. Very tasty. Yeah, that is a little spicy for my taste. I'm not sure, sure what this is. I think that's the chickpea. Tastes more like a soybean. Okay. Or soy nut. Please don't cook my soy nut. <laughs> <laughs> this is obviously regretting this. My mom likes to do movie quotes. Actually, my entire family likes to do movie quotes. So the fact that she says soy nuts, that is from. One of my favorite movies, The Princess Diaries. Yes. So now she's eating a peanut. <laughs> They're good. Can you stick the rest in your mouth so we can move on to the next one? <laughs> oh, she's pretty. She's really bossy. So the next one, this, um, like I said, I did. I already pre um, familiarized myself with everything. So these are masala chips, which. Masala breaking down is just another word for spicy. So it didn't say what kind of spice was used in them, but judging by these peppers on here, it does not look very pretty. So. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> her spice, her heat, and my heat are completely different. <laughs> I'm more of a jalapeno. My mom's more of a habanero. <laughs> That's <about> right. <laughs> Even though I did enjoy the habanero peppers from Brazil last year um, that were seasoned on the chips from last month. Those are really good. And there's also a local taco place that makes a uh, habanero dipping sauce, which is really good. The taco place in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, yes. Yeah. So. Give you a nice big one. Full of seasoning. Full of seasoning. Hmm. Honestly, these are not. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I take that back. Hmm, he gets it in the end, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> if I'm saying it's kind of spicy, <laughs> she's dying. <laughs> I am, because the second one I ate just has nothing but spice on it, so I feel it in my nose. Maybe we should have some water with it. <laughs> oh, wait, I have some on the side here. <laughs> it's not a whole lot, but... Because <laughs> I actually could use some. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Oh, look more. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. All right. Those are actually really tasty, but the spice won't get you at the end. <laughs> they start off fine, 
and then it all of a sudden just hits you and you're like, where did that come from? Um, so the next one is our potato sticks. They're called Chili's Potato Sticks. Um, these have a sour and spicy flavor to it, so that's an odd mix. I'm so, not sure about sour. I don't really like sour. Well, the, they have the, actually this, I just realized, they have this cute little picture of the pepper and lime on the side, or lemon, so I guess we'll, we'll see how that works. Hopefully it's not too sour. <laughs> if I was doing this in an, on like a table, I would have probably just crushed the bag. But this is on my bed, so no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> now, we do make potato sticks here, but they're normal just like regular potato sticks, regular potato chip flavoring. But Which is her one of her favorite chips. I taste the citrus. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I don't taste sourness, but I taste the lime citrus to it. I don't really taste much chili. I think that's still left over from the other chips. <laughs> and I don't really get much of a lime flavor. Lemon. I don't know. Lemon. I do. Um, yeah, maybe a tiny bit, but not like I was expecting. It's kind of a, a, a very light flavor. Those are actually really nice to eat, especially after that hot one. <clears throat> yes. So the next thing we're going to get to is all the sweets. So what we're doing is that we're going to try this Nana, one first. No. Nana, no. Nana. All right. Sorry about that. Some family issues going on. Um. Just a quick note: We have we are. I live in South Florida, so we did just go through a tra traumatic hurricane, and my sister lives in Key West. So unfortunately, her house does have mold in it. So we're just trying to manage that with my family. <laughs> so yes, a small house with lots and lots of people. <laughs> trying to manage with the chaos. So <laughs> moving on. Um, so one of the spices, and I try a lot of spices, and I do try my best to brought in my palette in aspects like that and one of the things that I still can't come to appreciate is curry and cumin so we are going to try cumin cookies I love cumin <laughs> this woman uses it in like everything cumin and garlic she uses it in everything it's scary <laughs> I, I don't mind the garlic it's the cumin that just gets to me I don't love cumin it just so, smells so so good it does come with Okay, again, sorry. Chaos. <laughs> children. So, none are mine. That's for chaos. <laughs> um, Kuba cookies. Now, um, like I showed you before in other packs, my last pack, that they do come with multiples for sharing. So, there are two packs. The other one I'm going to give to my dad. So, my mom and I are going to share this one cookie, and she'll end up eating the other one because I don't, I'm not a fan of cumin. Oh my god, I could already smell it. Oh my god, it smells just like cumin. <laughs> it does. Mm, what a lovely smell. I'm going to get this done and over out of the way because out of everything that's left, this is the last thing in the world I want to eat, so. Mm. so good. Nope. Mm -mm. That is a hard no. Ugh. Like I said, cumin and curry I can't do. It's not so bad. Um, I'm a baker, so I would have never in my wildest <laughs> dreams thought of putting cumin in a cookie. There's a slight taste of cumin. If you don't like cumin, you wouldn't like this at all. I mean, people say, oh, I like cumin. I'm going to try it, and I don't think they're going to enjoy it. It's not so bad. It's definitely not something I, I will, um, if I was ever in Pakistan, I wouldn't eat these. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to any Pakistan fans out there. Yes. I mean, like I said, it's just a light flavoring of it, but if you don't like cumin, you're not going to like this cookie. No. So, 
Next thing, last month on the back of our little flag cards, they have a little puzzle. Now, I already solved this one because I went, like I said, I went ahead and read the pre packaged little clue book here. Um, it was way too easy. So, which we'll get to at the end, but um, for last month when I did the puzzle, it said they were going to have pepper gummies. Now, for I'm me, that opened, <laughs> that opened a whole new door because of the fact that. There are a variety of type of peppers out there. You can do like a normal type of black pepper that you cook with, and it goes all the way up to ghost peppers. So, <laughs> so it's definitely it opened a whole door of when it just said pepper gummy. So it scared the crap out of me, and now I'm even scared because this literally says chili, mini, milli. Hot gummy peppers or hot gummy candy. So that literally is telling you a lot right there. So, so here you go, Mom. There's two. So we're going to try this together at the same time. I don't think it matters which end we eat. So, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well. For Americans, it's not the type of gummy we're kind of used to. This is a little bit harder of a texture because we're used to really soft gummies. Um, yeah, us and the breads, we like soft gummies. That wasn't really spicy. It is a little at the end, but not too crazy. Yeah, wasn't it? Definitely, definitely wasn't what I. It says that it's a hot. This is hot gummy candy. It's not really hot. It's, it's not. There's no sweetness to it, but. But it's definitely a different flavor too. Yeah, it's one. It's a harder texture of the gummy. Okay. So, this next one, um, is a Oreo knockoff. My husband would love these. <laughs> Yes, my dad is a citrus nut. He loves anything that's lemon, lime, orange, pineapple. And you don't have to put citrus in front of it. Though. That's true. He's just a nut. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my father is crazy, but whose dad is actually normal? I mean, what's normal? Yeah, what's really normal? So anyways, these are Oreo knockoffs. They're called Wright cookies. They are, maybe I get one that doesn't have writing. Okay, so the writing is basically across the both of them. So they are chocolate, well they call them chocolate biscuits with a lemon cream. So as you can see, they look just like Oreos, except with a lemon fill filling. So this is actually going to be nice after all of that spicy food. It's a nice way to clean your palate out. <laughs> so, there you go, Mom. Wow. Oh, wow, you really smell that citrus in there. That smells amazing. Yep. My husband would love these. These are made differently than normal Oreos. The cookie itself is made with dark chocolate versus Oreos are made with a milk chocolate. So these are definitely... And there's a thinner layer of a lemon cream versus like a, even just a normal Oreo. The cream is thicker, so. I'm for daddy. <laughs> no, I have another pack. That's fine. That's for dad. <laughs> I don't care for it. I'm not a huge chocolate fan, so. That's true. My mom's not. Chocolate doesn't really do much for her. I love chocolate. Love, love, love chocolate. So this next one is called a Sun. No, Son, Son Net. It is a chocolate covered candy bar with peanuts and fudge on the inside. Again, chocolate, not so much for my mother, but I'm looking forward to. I'm looking for something to take the flavor of uh, <laughs> those gummies out of my mouth and those cream and cookies. It looks like there's also caramel in here, too. That looks pretty gooey. Yeah, it does. You want the gooey end? I do. Of course you do. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Alrighty. Hmm. 
It almost reminds me of a Snickers. Almost. I was going to say the same thing. Um, I like trying different chocolates from around the world because every country makes chocolate differently. Unfortunately, here in the U.S., we use a lot of... High fructose cake, corn syrup. There we go. <laughs> A lot of bad things go in our chocolate when chocolate is actually such a natural yummy sweetener already that to add all this chemicals into it just makes it worse. Don't get me wrong, I love Snickers, but these are very, very good. These are very good. That was very well worth it. Okay. So. My first time eating on camera. <laughs> Last month after I was done with my Brazil one, took it over to my mom and had her try all the stuff. Which one did you like the most from the Brazil last one? Um, I actually enjoyed the mayonnaise chips. They were really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was weird, mayonnaise chips. I don't know. My mom said that they didn't taste like mayonnaise. So I'm guessing the one chip that I picked up was smothered in mayonnaise because that's all I tasted. It was just horrible. I, those were, those oh, were, and the coffee candies. Those coffee candies. <laughs> now those. Let's talk about those. <laughs> she still has one coffee candy left, and I still have my passion fruit lollipop left over. Yeah. Saving it for a special occasion. I might take it with me on uh, my vacation. I'm going on a couple of days. So... Alright, so these are just like the from Brazil last month. Um, last month was a chocolate one. So this one from Pakistan, they do an orange wafer flavor. So I've actually had these before. And these, I, I like them. You have these exact brands? Yes, or oh, that okay. exact brand. Um, we have similar cookies here. Um, we call them wafer cookies. And they have um, vanilla in them. Or banana or strawberry. Ooh, the banana so yummy. And um, then you can get some from, I think they're from Colombia that have guava, which are really, really, really good. Oh, so these are actually a little bit smaller. I thought they would be like the length of the size of the package, except they're the width. Those are little cute, tiny size cookies. Oh, no. And they look just like our wafer cookies. Ooh, they smell amazing. <sighs> wow, that's... Mmm. Mm. These things are so good. These are definitely a nice palate cleanser. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My dad's gonna love those. Alright. So, always save the tiny little ones for last. There's a bag of three different types. Can't even talk now. <laughs> There's no alcohol in any of this. Not that we're aware of. Most of it's written in Pakistan, which is Arabic. No. I think that wrong. Pakistan's language is not Arabic. It's Yudu and English. Yurdu and English. So, I am wrong. Pakistanians do not speak Arabic. So, sorry to all Pakistan fans out there. I did not mean to offend anybody. So, so they, these are the three types, ah, three types of candies they have. First, there is this milk toffee one here. This is a caramel coated candy with a milky cream center. That sounds really good. This one is a lychee candy, which there is only one city in the entire country of Pakistan that grows lychee. So... It's only one place in the entire country you can go to. I like lychee. And Especially in a martini. I've never had lychee, so I'm a little... Oh, and a sake. Mm -hmm. This woman in her sake, I swear. And then there's this last one, which is a black currant flavoring. Um, my husband's from England, so he's used to black currant. Not a fan of it. And as I learned in this book... Um, there are four states in the United States that black currant is actually banned from. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yes. So, <clears throat> residents of Maine, New Hampshire, Virginia, and Massachusetts. Black currant used to be a 
high high volume plant in those states but they learned that these plants were destroying all the pine trees so they banned them from those states well they banned it across the country and then obviously about all of the other states took down the ban and those four kept it so all of you residents in those four states sorry sorry <laughs> and if you do receive your universal yum boxes um i hope you enjoy it on something that you don't get to eat often in your own country or ever see or ever see that's right all right so we're gonna start with the black currant because i'm scared of it the little gummy she's scared of everything i'm not scared of everything so it's a cute little gummy and it looks like it's a sour gummy has a nice fruity smell to it it does so Ooh. it's another hard goo uh, gummy yeah it's a little tougher than the spicy one. Mmm, no. That's a hard no. There's actually a drink in England that my husband sometimes likes to drink. He likes to mix black currant and cider together. So I think it's called a snake bite. This is really good. <laughs> but I like black currant. <laughs> Ooh, that was horrible. <laughs> nope. Okay, so next is the lychee, which my mom will have to get her own because of the fact it is a hard candy. And I'm not going to share it with her. That's a little weird to do on camera. <laughs> it's a little weird to do, period. You gotta be really friendly. <laughs> so, it's a cute little candy. Oh, it's pink. Yeah, looks like a little, um, for everyone in the U.S., they look like little warheads. Which, those freak me out. I love them. But the initial shock once you start sucking on them is horrible. It tastes like lychee. I'm waiting for her to say something because it's tasting a little sour because it doesn't seem sour to me. It tastes like laundry detergent. <laughs> Because it, you know, it has a, t a tiny bit of a tang to it, so that's what. Nope. That tasted like laundry detergents. Ugh. Nope. Nope. It does smell like my laundry detergent. <laughs> <laughs> we get really good smelling laundry detergent. <laughs> so, the last one is the milky toffee candy like i said they say that it's a hard caramel outside with a milky center so so far they're right it is hard not when you bite in it though very soft yeah these are nice nice and creamy so i was kind of expecting something a little bit different me when, too. When it said that it had a milky oh. center, I was thinking something along the lines of a like a, a liquidy. Yeah, like a Cadbury so, egg. Yeah, not as liquidy, but just a little bit more liquid. Yeah. Uh, tasty. I love toffee. So <clears throat> that actually was pretty nice. I can't complain about that one. So out of everything on here that we've tried, um, obviously my favorite one so far is the orange wafer cookies i love them. these were really good those were actually really good too and another one that i did like was the potato sticks no so. surprise there <laughs> my mother ate potato sticks <laughs> who fed them to my children <laughs> I think it's because it doesn't have too much of a spice to it and there's a little bit of the acidity taste to it that brings down the spiciness yeah i the, didn't taste that the other two for me personally were just way too spicy i couldn't i especially the masala chips i don't think that i will continue to eat those i think i'm just going to give them to my dad and he's going to eat them because and the worst thing i hated in this box <clears throat> I'm sorry to say this, but it is the cumin cookies. That is definitely the worst thing I hate in this I love box. cumin. I like cookies. I just, it was a very weird combination completely. Because it's like a shortbread cookie with cumin in it. And it just was really off to me. 
They smell like cumin. I mean, literally, if I went out to my kitchen and grabbed the jar of cumin and oh, yeah. opened it, it, that's literally what it smelled like. Just, unfortunately, we, I, like I said, cumin and, what was the other one? Curry. Cumin and curry, I just can't do it. I've tried. I have tried. It's just not like I haven't. It's just not there for me. Yeah, and curry, so. it's got to be tiny, tiny amount of curry. <laughs> I'm so not a curry fan. So, overall, I mean, it she, wasn't that bad. She was really scared about this. Box. I was. Hence, that's why I'm here, <laughs> to help her try this food. I might not need her next month, but oh, she's but going I'm to join going to me. Be here. <laughs> because that's the clue, cool. my husband helped me figure it out, and then before I even had given my mom much information, she knew right away what it was. Brush <laughs> I was going to give you guys a clue, but I already told you. It is Brussels. It is Brussels. Um, the home of the French fry. People don't realize that. So the clues were, were chocolates, waffles, French fries, and a tiny statue of a boy. That The tiny statue of boy clue was what helped my fiance, my husband pick out the um, what country it was. The first three, obviously, my mother knew. As a chef. That's <laughs> I guess I, I'm, a, I'm a horrible chef. I'm not certified as a pastry chef. She is. No certificate, home taught, school taught. <laughs> <laughs> but so. I like I like the home taught thing. You, you learn trials and errors a lot easier than having someone breathing down your neck. Oh, yeah. And they definitely <laughs> do. The one thing is, like, people don't realize is um, Brussels is the home of the French fry. I did not know that. Yes. I and just learned it that It comes yesterday. in a little cup, and um, they put all the toppings on it. Very interesting toppings. But, yes, that's where they come from. <laughs> so, I like I said, I had finished the clues for next month. And one of the things that will be in the box next month. Can you, you ready for this one? Yes. I, I, I'm a little taken back because I've never heard of this. So Okay. It is buttercream truffles. <gasps> First off, truffles in general are just good. It doesn't matter what they are. <laughs> buttercream, I, I hope it's something along the lines of butterscotch. Because then I can handle that. But Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what kind of... Is, is it going to be a cookie or, you know... God, I hope it's not a chip because that would just be really weird. <laughs> well, it says truffles. Yes. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be wrapped up. Cute little package with two little truffles in it, so. That's going to be an expensive box. Truffles cost a fortune. <laughs> Not in Belgium. Or Brussels. Well, they're not ex still not exactly cheap. Even in Paris, they're a little on the, you know, because it's a pig that goes out in the woods and looks for them. That's a, yes, it's a pig that's yeah. trained to sniff out truffles in the dirt. Yes. I've learned that. There's a lot more disgusting details to that that I'm not going to get into. <laughs> but you're more than welcome to look up on how they find truffles and what comes of them. <laughs> um, but that's the end of it. Uh, since I did miss the UK box, and I am flying to the UK in a few days, I am personally putting together, with the help of my husband, all popular UK snacks. And I will be doing that with him from the United Kingdom in the next that's so unfair <laughs> within the next couple of weeks <laughs> not happy I like a lot of the stuff in the UK so she better bring me back that box <laughs> <laughs> I am going to try to find most of the stuff that they do have that was from the box um, that Universal Yums did send out and I will throw in a few personal things that my husband feels that I should try so we'll go from there. Well, that ought to be interesting. So thank you all for joining us. Um, <laughs> uh, please, if you do not have one, go to universalyums.com. You can pick any size that you like. I did opt for the smaller uh, $14 box. If you sign up instantly, you get um, you get a discount. It'll, you'll start with your first box and it's $11. So you do save $3. But it's very, it's an awesome investment for to try new things, especially if it's going to be countries that you're not going to go to. I know deep down in my heart that I will never go visit Pakistan. Again, no offense to Pakistan. 
it's not a country that's on my bucket list, unfortunately, even though it is on mine, but unfortunately it is a little volatile for Americans to go. These places here just look absolutely beautiful. Exactly. They do. And one of them, where is it? Ah, yes, this area here, I read it, supposedly it is haunted, so they don't let uh, people go there at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. made of solid it's, block For me, that would be fun, because I would hide slabs. in the dark and then jump out and scare her. <laughs> she would, but, yep, so, unfortunately, that would be all of it. Thank you again. Please visit Universal Yums and get your own yum box. The If you do choose the $25 box, there is a lot more that comes with it. Unfortunately, I we can't. Don't, we, we don't need that much. I, yeah, it's just me. I don't need that much, unfortunately. Because no, then you're going to see a lot more of me. <laughs> I don't know if she really wants to keep me in these videos. <laughs> If you noticed, my last month's video only went less than 20 minutes. Now we're over 30 minutes because I've had her and my family interruption. So, <laughs> well, well, we'll play it by ear. We'll see what oh, next no. month. You'll well, see me next month. Oh, yes. <laughs> you will definitely see her next month if her and my husband are right on this. So, which I have a very scary feeling they are. Because generally, they're normally not wrong. Nope. Don't tell I'm, my husband I said that. But then again, I he know. is going to watch this. So, <laughs> Moms are never wrong remember that. All right. So thank you guys. Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>